Google is at least partially admitting that its AI overview search feature is a hot mess. The company's generative AI-enhanced search tool has been giving users incredibly dumb answers, confidently telling one user to add about one-eighth cup of non-toxic glue to their pizza sauce to stop it from sliding off the pie. Other users were told to eat at least one rock a day or literally jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, the company has released a statement admitting that some odd, inaccurate, or unhelpful AI overviews certainly did show up. As a result, Google announced that it will limit some responses, especially when it detects nonsensical queries that shouldn't show an AI overview. Google maintains that generative AI makes sense as part of its flagship feature, but given the dumpster fire its latest tool is already turning out to be, it still has a lot to prove. At the scale of the web, with billions of queries coming in every day, there are bound to be some oddities and errors, Google search head Liz Reed wrote in the blog post. We'll keep improving when and how we show AI overviews and strengthening our protections, including for edge cases, and we're very grateful for the ongoing feedback. Some of the observed issues have since been traced back to insincere shit posts of Reddit users, suggesting AI overviews is drawing from some seriously dubious data for its output. The company struck a $60 million deal with Reddit to train its AI on users' posts, and hilariously, the AI is now using Reddit posts to tell people to eat glue. It's not just Google struggling to stuff generative AI into its products with abandon, either. We've already seen chatbots and related tools telling users to cheat on their wives, hallucinate plenty of information, miserably fail to summarize existing data, and make a complete mess of entire publications. To be clear, this has been going on for well over a year, and with Google's latest high-profile blunder, it doesn't bode well for the future of the tech. This time, however, is especially egregious considering the prominent position Google Search has held for several decades now. The tool still accounts for the vast majority of the global search engine market, but early signs point towards its competitors making major strides. We know that people trust Google Search to provide accurate information, Reid wrote. We hold ourselves to a high standard, as do our users, so we expect and appreciate the feedback and take it seriously. A week after its algorithms advised people to eat rocks and put glue on pizza, Google admitted Thursday that it needed to make adjustments to its bold new generative AI search feature. The episode highlights the risks of Google's aggressive drive to commercialize generative AI, and also the treacherous and fundamental limitations of that technology. Google's AI overviews feature draws on Gemini, a large language model like the one behind OpenAI's ChatGPT, to generate written answers to some search queries by summarizing information found online. The current AI boom is built around LLM's impressive fluency with text, but the software can also use that facility to put a convincing gloss on untruths or errors. Using the technology to summarize online information promises can make search results easier to digest, but it is hazardous when online sources are contradictory or when people may use the information to make important decisions. You can get a quick snappy prototype now fairly quickly with an LLM, but to actually make it so that it doesn't tell you to eat rocks takes a lot of work," says Richard Socher, who made key contributions to AI for language as a researcher and in late 2021 launched an AI-centric search engine called U.com. Socher says wrangling LLMs takes considerable effort because the underlying technology has no real understanding of the world and because the web is riddled with untrustworthy information. In some cases it is better to actually not just give you an answer, or to show you multiple different viewpoints, he says. Google's head of search Liz Reed said in the company's blog post late Thursday that it did extensive testing ahead of launching AI overviews. But she added that errors like the rock eating and glue pizza examples, in which Google's algorithms pulled information from a satirical article and jocular Reddit comment respectively, had prompted additional changes. They include better detection of nonsensical queries, Google says, and making the system rely less heavily on user-generated content. U.com routinely avoids the kinds of errors displayed by Google's AI overviews, Socher says, because his company developed about a dozen tricks to keep LLMs from misbehaving when used for search. We are more accurate because we put a lot of resources into being more accurate, Socher says. Among other things, U.com uses a custom-built web index designed to help LLMs steer clear of incorrect information. It also selects from multiple different LLMs to answer specific queries, and it uses a citation mechanism that can explain when sources are contradictory. Still, getting AI search right is tricky. 
Wired found on Friday that U.com failed to correctly answer a query that has been known to trip up other AI systems, stating that based on the information available, there are no African nations whose names start with the letter K. In previous tests, it had aced the query. Google's generative AI, upgrade to its most widely used and lucrative product, is part of a tech industry-wide reboot inspired by OpenAI's release of the chatbot ChatGPT in November 2022. A couple of months after ChatGPT debuted, Microsoft, a key partner of OpenAI, used its technology to upgrade its also-ran search engine Bing. The upgraded Bing was beset by AI-generated errors and odd behavior but the company's CEO, Satya Nadella, said that the move was designed to challenge Google, saying, I want people to know we made them dance. Some experts feel that Google rushed its AI upgrade. I'm surprised they launched it as it is for as many queries medical, financial queries I thought they'd be more careful, says Barry Schwartz, news editor at Search Engine Land, a publication that tracks the search industry. The company should have better anticipated that some people would intentionally try to trip up AI overviews, he adds. Google has to be smart about that, Schwartz says, especially when they're showing the results as default on their most valuable product. Lily Ray, a search engine optimization SEO consultant, was for a year a beta tester of the prototype that preceded AI overviews, which Google called search generative experience. She says she was unsurprised to see the errors that appeared last week given how the previous version tended to go awry. I think it's virtually impossible for it to always get everything right, Ray says. That's the nature of AI.